Hi, this is Shelby Wilson with the Memphis Tiger Network here at Liberty Bowl Stadium, where the Tigers just came off a dominating win over Arkansas State 31 to 7, thanks to 505 yards of offense. The Tigers got off to a quick start as quarterback Paxton Lynch completed a 24 yard pass to Sam Kraft to get Memphis to midfield. A face mask penalty against Arkansas State moved the Tigers to the Red Wolves 38, and Hayes used three carries to move the ball inside to the ASU 30. Hayes capped the seven play, 77 yard drive with a six yard score, giving the Tigers a 7-0 lead. Later in the first quarter, the Tigers grabbed a 14-0 lead with a five play, 36 yard drive when Lynch completed a pass to Allen Cross in the end zone. Arkansas State responded on their next possession to cut the Tigers lead to 14-7. Memphis answered with a 23 yard field goal made by Jake Elliott, giving the Tigers a 17-7 advantage. The Tigers continued a dominant first half with Kraft rushing for a five-yard score and a 24-7 lead. The Tiger defense continued to dominate in the second half, holding Arkansas State scoreless. In the fourth quarter, Marquise Warford capped off the Tigers scoring with a 16-yard run to give the Tigers their 31-7 win. Marquise Warford rushed for 173 yards on 11 carries, and Brandon Hayes had 114 yards on 18 carries. Memphis stacked up 329 rushing yards in the game. The Tigers' 505 yards of total offense was their first outing with 500 or more yards of offense since facing Southern Miss in 2008. Well, obviously, it's nice uh, to get that win. I'm proud of our kids, proud of our coaching staff, um, proud of the way we conduct ourselves, proud of the level of um, discipline we, just, we showed our ability to bounce back uh, when things hadn't gone our way. And I think that speaks a lot to the character of the men in that locker room, the kids in that locker room. It's a good good victory. It's, it's only one victory, and now we have a bye week. So our focus is to smile for a little bit and then um, go get better this next week, focus on some, some key things, and get ready for Central Florida coming back to the Liberty Bowl. With the help of my teammates, the offensive line opened up a lot of holes for me. It made me very uh, successful to do what I had to do. Uh, the coaches believed in me a lot to keep giving me the rock. Um, so uh, my line did actually an excellent job, and the quarterback carried out his favorite if I did the job, which was let me do my job. The offensive line took a, a big step since practice on Monday. We, we, we knew we were going to come into a dogfight, and the offensive line prepared well. We had a great practice all week, and it you know, showed out there on the field today. From my first from my first start against Duke, I started off a little shaky, a little nervous, but then the coaches kept believing in me. He still kept feeding me the rock, and I, I'm now more comfortable than I was when I first started. You know, I think it was very vital for us to come out there and make a statement. Um, you know, it's a, it's a real big rivalry us between Arkansas State and I. And um, I think we came out there, offensive line came out there on seat. Paxson was throwing the ball around. I think he had 10 different receivers. And, you know, it really just showed on the first drive. That's when we were trying to make a statement. So uh, it was, it was, a, it was an, a very important win. And um, I think that we needed this. We needed this for us as well as the fans. And, you know, I'm just real grateful for, for the win that we ended up coming with. We knew as a defensive line, we were the better unit, so we really had to play up to our potential. We knew we had to control the line of scrimmage and dominate up front in order to win this ball game. And myself, as long, along with the other guys playing with me on D-line, Terry Redden, Corey, Donald Pennington, who stepped in this week, um, we all played great. Even um, some young guys, Latarius Brady, um, and Ricky Hunter also stepped up too. Um, I think we're a very tough unit. Um, I think we could be one of the best in the nation, and that's what, really what we're striving for, for a national ranking on defense, and continue to shut out teams week to week. You know. The Tigers have a bye next weekend, but we'll be back here at the Liberty Bowl Stadium on October 5th as they take on University of Central Florida. I'm Shelby Wilson with the Memphis Tiger Network.